right here today, number 25, Seed Court. By way of introduction, my name is Alex Pearson and assisting me are the hardest working agents in Bayside. And together we'd like to thank you for your attendance, your attention, and if you are one of the interested buyers, best of luck to you and your competition. Remember buys, we want exactly what you want, and that is you to own this incredible home. We are simply here to assist. You've just stepped through the home, so let me step you through this simple paperwork to which you can purchase. We are using a standard auction contract, and what that means is that there are no cooling off provisions in place. The suggestion from the team at Barry Plant is that this should only encourage you here into the bidding. The property we sell is more particularly described in the attached certificate of title as being volume 10147, folio 862, together with the improvements more commonly known to you and I, Uber Eats, Menu Log, and of course, Mr. Postman as being 25 seat court in Cheltenham. Shortly when the property is sold, a 10% deposit is required upon signing of the contract. If you are the highest bidder and the successful purchaser of today's proceedings, the balance of that deposit money is payable in a very simple and straightforward 30 through to 60 days. Today's auction rules. Today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit myself and auctioneer from accepting bids or offers on a property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendor has a reserved price and as the auctioneer I will indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders from attempting to prevent others from bidding and does provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids. The words that I'll be using during today's auction to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are simply vendor bid. And by law, only I, as the auctioneer, can place a vendor bid. And if I do place a bid on behalf of the vendor buyers, it will be in the absence of your participation and it will be below the owner's reserve price, which we have on offer. Well, folks, the backbone behind any real estate transaction is, of course, its location. What a premier location we have on offer today for you buyers being situated in the Pennydale pocket of Cheltenham. There was a recent domain article published which stated the five key drivers of real estate throughout Australia. Schools, parks, shops, public transport and the beach. Buyers, we're ticking absolutely all five of these boxes here for you, which means this is definitely a secure investment for you and your family moving forward. This is easily the most desirable pocket in Cheltenham. Not only are we beachside on the Pean Highway, we're, at, we're walking distance to absolutely everything. Of course, down the laneway, if you hang it right, we've got Southland Shopping Centre, only a few hundred metres away. And aren't you lucky, buyers? Not only do you have Cheltenham Train Station, you've also got the brand new Southland Train Station, allowing for easy access into the Melbourne CBD. But if you're one of those who would like to avoid all the commotion of Southland, but you still want to get out for a bite to eat, you can take a stroll down to the Charmin Road, shops where there are a number of restaurants and cafes including one of my very favorites being cafe in demand if you go there buyers make sure you tackle their homemade blueberry muffin because they are simply world class well folks back home we've got two great sized bedrooms both with built-in robes the master also has the walkthrough robe for you downstairs the open plan kitchen and living where the natural light will flow through all year around of course, you've had the garage, which can be used as a garage, or what these guys have done is convert it to either a man cave, multi-purpose room. The options are all there for you, folks. But my favourite part of this property isn't actually what's inside, it's what's outside, folks. It's, not, it's so hard to come across a home of this size with so much entertaining space, not only at the front, but also at the back. So don't be, so there's all the, all the room in the world to have your barbecues on those warmer summer days as well, buyers. So don't be concerned about going to the Hungry Jacks, which is out of the way because the burgers are better at Seed Court. Buyers, in 2019, the likes of Tracy Grimshaw and Peter Hitchener, all they had to report was the property market being doom and gloom. I can assure you one thing, buyers, in 2020, well, 2020 is in fact the year of the boom. Things are well and truly back in business. Interest rates are at an all time low. The auction clearance rate is creeping up week after week. So I urge you to get in and secure this property at today's prices, folks, and you will absolutely reap the rewards in the years to come. That's enough from me now, boys. Who would like to commence the bidding? Where do we go from here? Can I make that recommendation that you come in at the highest and the best? Start me off if you will, folks. Well, boys, your support is overwhelming. 
I even got Mr. Whippy to come out here for you and this is how you repay me. <laughs> what do we say, boys? Very reasonable start is all I ask for. Happy to kick start with a bit on behalf of the vendor. I'd much prefer to see some participation from one of you keen buyers out here. What do we say, boys? Okay, boys, in that case, I will kick start proceedings with a bid on behalf of my vendor. We'll kick start things nice and low at $670,000, looking for a rise of 10 on top, take us to 680. What do we say now, folks? We're at $670,000. 680, there it is. Welcome to you guys at 680. First, we've got a front runner now, boys. 680, it is a bit light on, but it's a leader. It's definitely what to take. $680,000. What do we say now? Looking for a rise on top, take us to $690,000. $680,000, I will call it down now for the first time. 690. 690, welcome, it's a two horse race now folks, it's 690. Back on top for 700, what do we say? 700, thank you. What about 710? Welcoming anyone else back on top for 710? 710, 710,000, let's keep the tens flowing. Haven't forgotten about anyone else here as well guys. We're at 710, what do we say to 720? 720, 720, there it is folks. 720,000 dollars, happy hour is just moments away. 720, triple O, 730 guys, what do we say? Looks like it's only a one horse race there, folks. We're at $720,000. I will call it down there for the first time at $720,000. Second time at $720,000. Let me make one thing clear, folks. If we don't see any further bids, the property will be passed into the highest bidder and they will have the first and exclusive rights of negotiating to the vendor's sensible and realistic reserve price which we have on offer. 720 is the highest bid. We should be like seagulls on hot chips at this sort of money buys. Bargain buying. 730, welcome guys, you made me wait. Don't blame me though, 730, there it is. What do we say back on top? Some strong bidding, let's see it happening. 40? 730 is now the highest bid. We've had three participants. Welcome to anyone else on top. $730,000 now, we'll call it down again. 40, 40, welcome guys, welcome back guys. 740, what do we say guys? Let's see some strong bidding. What about going straight to 800 for the knockout blow? What do we say? 740 here on my left hand side. What do we say now, folks? I will call it down. Need to know now. First time at $740,000. Second call at $740,000. Five. I will take the five at 745. We need a compromise. And of course, I'll offer you guys the same courtesy. 745 is now the highest bid. Not quite, so we'll make an answer once we are. <laughs> 745 is the highest bid. What do we say? <laughs> Take us to 750. We're at 745 now, folks. Like I said, happy hour's not far away. We're going to be seeing a soul sticker up probably very, very soon. We're at 745,000 dollars. We've had a three-horse race at the moment. Make it four. 745. What do we say? 750, guys. Yeah, 750. 750. There it is, folks. 750,000 dollars. Let's keep the kettle boiling now, folks, with some strong bidding. We're at 750, triple O now, boys. What do we say? Yeah. You've been relatively strong now, folks. What do we say? Keep the kettle boiling, take us to 55. 750,000 is the highest bid. I need to know now, folks. First call at $750,000. Second call at $750,000. Third and final call. $750,000. Need to know, folks. Five. Five. You made me wait once again. A little bit cheeky, don't mind. It's $755 now. What do we say? Keep it going, guys. What do we say? No. All you guys are in your shorts and t shirt while I'm stuck here in the suit. $755 is now the hot. $755. We'll do a five. $75 is the highest bid. We are still below some of the recent sale prices, folks. It was actually the single level two, pop, two bedroom property on Park Road. Park Road that sold for $730, which had no work whatsoever, didn't have the extra courtyard. $755 is now the highest bid. What do we say? I'll call it down. First time at $755,000. Second time at $755,000. Third and final call, 60. 60, welcome back. 60, they're slowing down, guys. It's 760 now. What do we say? Yep. 760, triple O is the highest bid. We are getting very, very close to putting this home onto the market, folks. We're at $760,000. You've been with me all the way, guys. What do we say? Yeah. Yeah. 760 now. I will call it down, boys, for the first time at $760,000. <coughs> you've 
You've been strong, guys. Come back in time. What do we say? Take us to 65. Get Don't think I've forgotten about you either. <laughs> 760 is the highest bid. They're telling me to get on with it. They, they want it. They're feeling the pressure just as much as you are, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> 760 now. What do we say? I'll call it down for the final time at 760. First, second, third, and final time, $760,000. Need to know, what do we say? What about two and a half, guys? We're going to count down, we're going to give you all one more opportunity to jump in. If we don't see any further bidding, the property will get passed in to the highest bidder on my left hand side. But like I said folks, we are extremely close to putting this home onto the market, so the likelihood is the buyers on my left will be the ones to put a sold sticker up. Anyone else, anyone else that's out here that's been reluctant. This is our sense of benchmark for the area folks, so what happens is the next owner when the new homes come to the market, they want that little bit more on top. And then when that sells, they want a little bit more, which is why the market grows the way that it is by the case. So if you're holding back, get your phone out, call your broker, call your parents, do what it takes to jump in and secure this one at today's prices, folks. We're at $760,000. I will give you one more opportunity before the property gets passed in to the highest bidder. Need to know now, folks. First time at $760,000. Second call at $760,000. Last opportunity for us before the property gets passed in. Need to know, we'll take a $2,500 bid. Third and final call, $760,000. What do we say? Need to know, folks. In that case, I will formally pass the property in to the highest bidder on my left. You can all join me in congratulating them. Thank you very much for sending the same plan option. 